So this is Andre, my American friend who absolutely loves a local meal known as Yoke Gary or Gobe. We met up and decided to, you know, find out why he enjoys this particular meal and also learn more about him. So we started off by joining this long queue. Before getting our meal set for us. So, so, so tell me about, about you, I mean, Andre. Um, a little bit about you. I don't know you. I mean, tell me a little bit. Yeah. Um, Where are you from and what are you doing here? I'm ri originally from the United States. Yeah. I've been living in Ghana for almost a year now. Yeah. Going on, going on 10, 11 months. Okay, okay, um, okay. I work uh, in, in agriculture here, so okay. in a company that supports. Um, Agribusiness entrepreneurs, helping them, helping them raise capital. Oh, great! Yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, how, how have you found it so far? Overall, it's it's been very cool. I've, I've really enjoyed my time. I think you know, obviously, it's it's quite hot. That's, that's, that's different for me. Where where I come from is very cold, and we have oh, really? we have a lot of snow. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. But the you know the change of climate has been awesome. I mean, everyone here is so nice. Um, I've really mm. felt felt welcomed um, as someone who's who's not from here, but people make me feel feel like I belong. It's that's great. Good. That, that's great. That's great. We're, we're known we're known for our hospitality. Yeah, yes. I mean, we're we're happy to have you, especially since you're saying you're supporting you know businesses within the agri agri space. Yeah, I mean, funding. We we, we need that funding, man. You know, yes. add some. So, are these companies adding value to product, or they're just you know exporting you know uh, and they're roasting? Yes, some of both. Uh, they a lot of companies who work with with smallholder farmers, and then local value addition, selling to to larger off takers, and then exporting as well. Um, so, kind of, yeah. Great, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, so far, I mean, have you found have you found Ghana? Yeah, I think um, I've never lived in a city before, so coming to you know a large city like this. Uh, I think it was just kind of the hustle bustle uh, day to day, very busy, a lot going on. You got to have your have your head on a swivel and kind of be aware of everything. What's happening? What's exactly. happening? Exactly. Okay, um, okay. I think that was that was kind of the big thing. Um, but then you know, just from that point, adjusting. You know, all, all the food is different. Um, mm. uh, local languages as well, which I don't don't know much of at all. <laughs> so can be can be difficult, I mm -hmm. think. But you know, with time, I've, I've learned a lot. It's been great. Great, great. great. I, mean, I, I, I love the honesty. <laughs> but she gave you a name because you are Kwesi. Kwesi. That, that means you're actually born on a Sunday, right? Yeah, but Tuesday is what? Kwabina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, the proper name is Kwabina. Yeah, I'm just telling her, you know, it's Kwabina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, usually back home, what would you be having on a, on a typical day? What yeah, type I of think... meals do you have? Run me through, run me through the list. I usually don't eat breakfast. <laughs> I'm not a fan of breakfast, so... Um, you know, some sort of lunch, a sandwich. I think, I think back home, typically I'd have a a protein as the main part of the meal, okay. accompanied by a smaller portion of carbs. Okay. Um, and then Ghana, I think it's kind of the other way around. Maybe mm -hmm. your carbs are the main focus of the oh, meal, yeah. with, the, with a smaller portion of protein. The heat, man. The heat. The, the heat yeah. is killing us. You need that strength. So, so what, what type of protein are you doing? Uh, lots of lots of beef and chicken. Oh. I don't. I'm not. I don't like fish too much. So not, not not too much fish, but beef and chicken. <laughs> okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I I live nearby, and two weeks ago I think I came came here six days in a row. <laughs> two days. That's Monday to Sunday. Yeah, every day, every day of the week. Huh. This this is about if you convert it into dollars. This would be like what? Uh, right cent? now maybe one dollar thirty cents, twenty CDs. One dollar. So back back at home, one dollar twenty. What what type of meal that would I get you? Uh nothing. It probably won't even get me this bottle of water. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ah, interesting. I mean, I thought I thought you had some really affordable meals, like especially when you're doing fast food, like burger and stuff. Uh, you can, typical, but with a typical uh, burger and fries cost you. If you go to you know McDonald's or or KFC, yeah. If you want a full meal, you know burger, drink, it's probably ten or twelve dollars. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, I mean, back home. I mean, you've been away for close to eight, eleven what months, ten yeah. months. I mean, what what are some of the things you you, you miss you miss home? Tell me. Uh, Tell me. Give me give me three three top things and explain why. First one would be what? I think a good a good cheeseburger. <laughs> smash smash. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. 
Um, I'll have to try a place here. I haven't tried too many, too many burger places here, but I have some some favorites back home that I like. Like like which ones? Uh, as it's, it's just uh, just local shops. Mm -hmm. um, you know things that do that. Just stuff it with cheese and kind of special stuff. Mm. Uh, stuff that I can't find here. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, like uh, the pickles. Pickles, yeah, I like pickles. Yeah, we we got pickles here. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got pickles. We have uh, the cheese. We have your grass-fed beef. Yep. Is the beef here? Is it mostly from Ghana or is it imported? So both. So some of them, you know, get them from here. Some of them also import them from something like South, South Africa, they're about. Mm -hmm. The southern part of Namibia, you know, and some also get them from up north, local. Okay. Mm. So, so, number one, the cheese better. Number two, the what? I think a big burrito. Ooh. With rice and, and peas. Chicken or steak and beans and salsa. <laughs> That's uh, a very big one, yes. Mm, mm, I'll have mm. that right away. What with with what? what? What would you have it with? <sighs> Maybe a cold beer. Mm, 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 mm. What's that? What's what's that beer brand that got into a lot of trouble in the U.S.? Oh, Bud Light. Bud Light. The blue one. Yeah, 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 yeah the blue one. Is, is, is that is that the one you would go for? Or you would go for something else? Ah, uh, Budweiser. I prefer Miller Lite or Budweiser. Yes. Mm. Or. Um, the one, um, the Corona, they have a... Yeah. Uh, they have Corona here too though, so I can have that here. Mm, 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 mm. Nice, so cheeseburger one, a big burrito. Mm -hmm. They qualify there, they're big one. And then yes. they don't, they don't do what? Mm. Mm. Think, think, think on it. Mm -mm. I think uh, like a chicken Alfredo pasta. So very cheesy. I haven't found, I haven't, Found too much cheese in Ghana, so. Bro, chicken alfredo pasta yeah. with the cream. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have a spot for you, don't worry. Okay. I mean, I, I got you, I yeah, got you, I got right. you. I mean, for the burger, the smash burger with the cheese, you need to go to 8020. The gentleman's name is uh, Travis. Okay. He, he came from the States and set it up here. I've, I've interviewed him as well. Great, great guy. Okay, great. Smash burger, like the way, you know, they do it back. He's from, um, he's from where? He's from Boston. Yeah. In Boston, yeah, and then for the chicken Alfredo, I got a place for you, man. Um, uh, D Cafe, D Cafe, really, D Cafe, man. I'm you know promoting you, they, it's lovely stuff. I thought they were more kind of coffee, they do coffee, but they do the chicken Alfredo. Okay, I usually have my creamy pasta mm -hmm. from there, amazing. Mwah. Mwah. It's good to know, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, in Ghana. Outside of uh, beans, mm -hmm. what you call red red, what else do you like? What what what, what are local meals you do? You, you, you? So this is number one for me. <laughs> number two, I'll go for chicken light soup with fufu. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, give me give me give me give me that. <laughs> give me that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then, why why is that? Why 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 chicken light chicken light soup? I really like the the texture of fufu, and the light soup I think just has a very Robust flavor profile. And it, just, it just hits the spot. It's something. It's kind of like this. It's, it's a little hard to explain. It yeah, just, just hits it. It's great. Yeah. Nice. So that's um, two, three. That's two. The other ones I find myself having a lot would be yam chips with pepe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then yam chips with pepe. Nice, nice. And jollof as well. And jollof. I, I enjoy. Wow. There's a lot of Ghanaians would not be too happy. Jollof would normally have one, one for them up there, number one spot, then well, this is national. This is national everywhere. Up all the four corners of Ghana, this is, this is a national meal. But you love, you know, is their, their pride and, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Don't be calm. Mm. Oh, please, please come, please come, please come. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So now I know the three meals back on. I know the three meals here. But when you sleep at night in a car, when you think back home, what are some of the things you miss? Um, first and foremost, my family, of course, my family and friends. Why? why I know about. What, what do you miss about them? Ah, just their, just their company and enjoying meals together, and then you know the laughter. Um, I have that here as well, but you know the people I grew up with, I do miss them. So it'll be Absolutely. great too. Great to see them again. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my girlfriend too. Oh I, damn! I miss her very much. So. 
Bro, 11, 11 months. Yeah. Man, don't so worry, I'll man. I'll see you soon, though. You'll see you soon. Yeah. That's great. And then the, the, what would be the second one? So family uh, fast? Yes, I think from where I live, the trees and the birds. I enjoy the birds oh. and the noises they make. Um, I haven't, I haven't found that I hear the birds singing here as much. Oh. Uh, maybe the chickens, but that's, a, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a spot. Yeah. You'll love it. Okay, okay. It's called the Legon Botanical Garden. Oh, I've heard of it. You've been there? I've not been, no, no. You should. Okay. They have like a mini lake thingy and all of that. Yeah, Beautiful. Okay. Great. So that's two, the birds and the trees. Three, two, two, two. You actually started the lakes. We oh, you've got lakes. We have a lot of lakes at home, yes. And I, mm, mm, it's mm, nice mm. to go out on the boat or hang out at the at the beach and just relax. The water gets very warm, so you can swim and what? especially in the summer, like right now, that's what I would be doing if I was home. I mean, you did, you did mention that you're from a very cold area. Mm -hmm. Do the lakes freeze up? Mm -hmm. Freeze up, really? Yeah. So in the winter, we go ice skating yeah, on the lakes when it's frozen. Wow. Yeah. You're from cold, 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 cold <laughs> yeah. America. So cold. from, yeah, from December to maybe March, it's frozen and it's, it's so, so thick that you can actually drive on it no. in your car. You take the car on the ice. Yeah. No. On the lake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Let's go. So I know you love, you love this, but what are your other favorite local foods? Oh, oh man. Um, I mean, jollof is one. I'm, I'm a rice guy. I can have rice not seven days a week, eight days a week. Eight days a week. <laughs> eight days a week. But this, this is a go-to like on a normal day. But if you're asking me for my my number one, mm -hmm. I would say that would be banku with okra. Banku with okra with a lot of proteins, crabs, wele. Crabs, okay. Wele. Um, beef, some chicken, fish, everything in there. It's yeah. called the, the, the United Nations, UN. It means every, everything is just coming together, like, like the Avengers. Yeah. Everybody just comes together. So three things you miss back home. Now, what about in Ghana? If you leave, oh yeah. <laughs> when you're back in Minnesota and you're uh, on your bed and you're thinking back, back in Ghana, what would be the three things you think you'll miss? The Number food? one, right here. No. Yes, the food. <laughs> I love the food. Mm. Number two. Um, it's different from where I'm from. It's all the kind of all the small local shops. It's very the informal economy. It's very easy to to make purchases quickly. Okay. Um, it's, I think it's very, very efficient and it works well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, as opposed to having to go and drive to the store, you know, I just I step outside and I can get most things I need without without even going anywhere. Going anywhere. So I find that I find that quite nice. <laughs> you miss that. <laughs> but, I, will, I will miss that. Yes. I'm the, the corner shop, the ladies just ride yeah. by you. <laughs> yes, and they're very friendly. We become friends, so mm -hmm. I'll miss, mm -hmm. miss that and them as well. The third one would what? Uh, some of my my colleagues and friends that I've I've met here. Mm, mm, um, mm, mm. Yeah, it's the food, the corner shop, yeah, and the crazy friends. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Where are you? Anyways, it's been great. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, all right. So we're done. We're done here. It's been good. I mean, hey, like I said, he misses home, but we also miss Ghana when he's gone. Of course. But it was, it was a pleasure, man. Thank well, you so much. Thank Andre. you. Andre. Good one. Click it, click it, click it. Like, like that. that. Yeah, there you go. Like that. And then you bring it in. Boom. <laughs> Subscribe. KFK Well. Catch you. He's finishing up. All right.